Also to this this morning, we have now learned more than 40 boats have been damaged or destroyed by this massive fire under Seattle's Ship Canal Bridge. Yeah, take a look at your screen right now. The huge flames and fire crews working to put out that fire. The smoke was so thick and could be seen from miles away. Farah Jadrin is there right now live on the scene with the latest on the investigation. Farah. Yeah, Mimi and Jake, I want to bring in the Seattle Fire Department's uh, public information officer with some new information that just came in. Could you let us know what happened? We just saw somebody here getting handcuffed and being talked to by police and now getting medical treatment. Can you tell us if that's related to the fire? Yes, yeah, so our crews found an approximately 40-year-old male who is on one of the boats that was on water. The fire primarily involved a boat rack dry storage facility involving up to 30 boats. Um, the person has been apprehended by SPD but is currently being med medically evaluated. That person is approximately a 40 year old male. It's gonna be transported to Harborview and then from there, Seattle police will conduct their investigation. So is it believed right now that that person may be responsible for this fire connected in that way? That is under investigation. That's unknown at this time. Okay, while I have you right here, uh, this was a challenging scene for firefighters this morning, a big response. Could you talk about making sure men and women were uh, put in and out of the scene so they could be rested and get back in with the heavy smoke? Yes, this was upgraded to a two alarm fire where we had additional resources throughout the city respond here to a, a marina onshore fire, meaning that it was a dry boat facility where people hold their winter boats up in dry storage for a prolonged period of time. Uh, when our crews arrived on scene, they saw a well-involved fire involving that whole dry rack storage facility. Approximately 30 boats were involved in that fire. The fire is now under control. No injuries have been reported among our firefighters. And again, that patient uh, person is currently being evaluated and, tra and transported to Harborview. Okay, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for that update. Uh, again, on your screen, you were seeing the video, the intensity of those flames, 50 to 70 feet in the air at times. Heavy smoke is still here coming from these boats on uh, Lake Union. So if you are driving on the Ship Canal Bridge at some point this morning, keep that in mind. The smoke is going in and out of its intensity. It can be very heavy smoke smell in the air, maybe cause some visibility issues there as well. So if you can avoid this area at Northeast North Lake Way by the Ship Canal Bridge on the ground. Please make sure to do that as firefighters are still here working to make sure nothing flares up. And again, there has been an arrest made and they are working on the investigation on how that man in his 40s may be connected to these fires. Live in Seattle, Farah Jadron, King 5 News.